There aren't many reptiles that will do this kind of interaction with you, that will kind of get all up in your grill and kind of make you feel like you're, you're part of their tribe. And Slinky does that. Hey, what's going on everyone? Back again and look who's with me doing amazing. I wanted to give you guys a video updating you on Slinky's condition. And man, we dodged a major bullet with this guy. He uh, came back, it's been a few days now since he actually had his accident. Come on, come on. And as you can see, still hungry, still doing well. And most importantly, he's still slinky. Uh, I gotta be honest, there was a little part of me that thought maybe he'd be like a pet cemetery. Uh, you know, maybe he'd come back like Gage. Uh, that's throwback to the old uh, Pet Cemetery movie. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's better off dead. But not Slinky. He came back and he's still Slinky. So no uh, zombie Slinky here. Just a perfectly good, happy little monitor lizard. And uh, I cannot believe, and uh, man, you might call it luck. You might call it a blessing. You can call it whatever you want, but Slinky is alive. And it's just incredible how amazing this lizard really is and how well he's recovered. I am so excited that he is still amongst us. I don't know what I'd do without him, man. He is absolutely my buddy. Uh, probably my best lizard friend <laughs> that I've got here, to be perfectly honest. Slinky, Slinky, go get it. Show everyone how good you're doing. He's going to go in the water and go searching for his little crop biscuits. Oh, I love this lizard. Yeah, so basically, guys, if it wasn't for my little stepson, Leo, um, I, I, it would have taken me longer to realize that Slinky was, in fact, still alive, albeit on the threshold of death. And that's one of those things that you just got to continue to warm them up slowly because, man, if uh, I gave up, it would have been horrible. It would have been horrible. Can you believe this, guys? He's totally fine doing his thing. In fact, later on that day, I brought him back out here, warmed up, and I wound up giving him a feed uh, that same day. He ate a big old fish. So I'm um, really, really excited about this. Uh, it just shows you that uh, your animals can get into some mischief. And uh, what I've done is simply made these latches here for the top of this box because I didn't have a latch and he pushed out. I, I had, sometimes I'd screw it, but again, I totally forgot. I screwed up. I thought, ah, it won't be a big deal. He'll stay in. And of course, um, with animals, they do what they want. So I've learned a valuable lesson uh, and you always have to be vigilant so uh hey it is what it is i shared it with you guys because it's very very important so what else i've done uh there's also really cool thermostats that are inside the box now so in case he's actually in the box if the temperature gets higher than 70 degrees it will shut off and this way he will not overheat because one thing um it's one thing to get a cold lizard but if you overheat a reptile you're not gonna save them, that's for sure. Heat will kill these animals faster than cold. So I'm really uh, gonna be very, very um, vigilant on making sure these guys are within the right parameters while they are stuck inside during cold snaps. It's about 85 degrees now, as you can see, I'm out here in a uh, short t-shirt. It's just crazy how, how schizophrenic the weather can become uh, in Florida during the winter months. Uh, it's a subtropical paradise. And uh, you know, every once in a while we get a cold snap. It's just something we gotta deal with. Um, man, I, I just also wanna say thank you to the overwhelming support, uh, the kind messages that all of you left. Um, you guys are amazing. And I, I, I knew Slinky uh, was a favorite of this channel. And I know he's a big part of this channel, and I just can't believe the outpouring of attention that he's gotten and uh, all the well wishes for me. It was very nice of you guys. I was being hard on myself, um, but it is what it is. You know, I don't think I could have ever recovered from the guilt had he passed away. So, <clears throat> so Slinky and I both have a mulligan, and uh, I can promise you 
we're not going to have that problem again with Slinky or any of my animals out here. Just look at him go, man. He's just having a great old time. We love Slinky here. I love the way he's just kind of exploring, looking for more little morsels that he can eat. As long as it's not a snake, Slinky, I think you're all right, dude. Uh, hopefully you never get another snake again. Man, um, one of the things that I'm conscious of is I've just been keeping an eye on him, making sure there's no respiratory distress or anything like that. The key is to just kind of monitor his activity levels, make sure that he's behaving normally. As you can see, he certainly is. Um, if he becomes lethargic or loses his appetite, that's gonna be one of the early signs that there may be some kind of respiratory problem with Slinky. Of course, any discharge from his nares as well. But uh, have not seen anything like that. The cold snap at the time of this video was about four days ago. And um, Slinky is just, I mean, there he is. He's just doing his thing. A very happy lizard. So I'm really excited about this. Um, just an amazing uh, situation. Um, gosh, sometimes I just don't know how I've been so fortunate um with with these animals and uh mistakes will happen as long as we learn from them we will become better at keeping these animals so as i mentioned in the other video i like to share with you guys everything um you know it's one of those things that just kind of happened man it was just a stupid mistake on my part but i'm really really glad that we got this do-over with slinks and he continues to be one of my favorite creatures here at the camp um just just for moments like these guys it's just seeing this animal you know look all over and and try and like interact with me he climbs up on me while i was doing the latches he climbed up my leg while i was on the little step ladder here and he just wants to know what's going on you know he's so funny he's so curious and seeing him so lethargic like that and almost dead uh, it just broke my heart, and uh, I know it broke a lot of your hearts, too. Um, one of the things, though, it's funny is so many people were giving me condolences, and um, it's funny, people don't kind of read, or well, they read, but they don't watch videos sometimes. I don't know what happened. Um, it was just so funny. A lot of people thought he was dead. Um, you got to watch the video so you can know what happened, right, Slinky? So um, I'm glad that... Uh, I was able to spoil it for some of the people. I was like, guys, you got to watch the video when I responded to them. So um, it's just funny, man. Uh, I, I love this. You see how he's always around me? He just wants to see what's going on. He's very active, very alert. And uh, this is uh, the greatest gift I could have got. It's uh, what I like to call and what Kate called a Christmas miracle. Um, Slinky is still amongst us here at the camp and it's uh, brilliant. So. Happy days are here again. Uh, love it. And um, gosh, as a family, we did really well. Um, the kids and Kate, we all kind of came together during this calamity. And uh, what was awesome is uh, Leo. I can't thank this little guy enough, man. He really saved the day by being focused and watching the animal and really trying to look at him. And uh, look at the big lug now. He's just sunbathing. Um, so I just hope Leo knows how much I love him and how much I appreciate him giving me that second wind to calm me down and get this animal all doctored up and back on the road to revival. So it was awesome, man. Um, I don't ever want to do that again. It wasn't that awesome. Uh, I, I, you know, it's amazing uh, how that video just took off and it's just so crazy, you know. Um, I guess I'm going to have to nearly kill all my animals and bring them back on video. That's a joke, people. That's an absolute joke. Um, it's... <laughs> Look at this guy. This is why I love Slinky. He's got no chill, man. He just does what he wants. He just kind of walks wherever. But I don't know if it's no chill. He is super chill uh, in that he can go wherever he wants on me, man. He's got free range. I am... Uh, I'm just Slinky's human. But... Um, yeah man just um just kind of funny you know there's always uh some goofy comments out there and there's it's bizarre how people would think that i would do this on purpose <laughs> i mean it's just absolutely insane um there's always one or two knuckleheads out there but um i think the majority of you guys who follow the channel know 
Um, I don't manufacture things here. Um, as you can see, um, if you look at how many videos take off, it's one or, I don't know, a few a year, uh, just really connect with people. The others are pretty consistent because I'm trying to give information to the hardcore reptile people or people that want to learn. Um, and you know, every once in a while we have some drama happen and I guess it just piques people's interest. But um, I can assure you that what I do here on my home, in my channel, is just kind of give it to you as it happens. And um, as it happened, Slinky uh, had a close call. And I'm glad he's okay. And that's his little, he's got, he's got his little claw on my chest there. I love this guy. I wonder if he's going to climb up onto me. Do you guys see? Um, I was speaking to my older sister last night. And she called to make sure Slinky was okay. Ooh. And um, talking to her. You know, she knows me since forever, uh, number one, and um, she basically understands, um, she really appreciated Slinky when she came down and visited, and she's seen me have iguanas and lizards when I was a kid. What was really cool when we were talking yesterday, she knows how cool this animal is because there aren't many reptiles um, that will do this kind of interaction with you, that will, will really... Um, kind of get all up in your grill and uh, kind of make you feel like you're you're part of their tribe and Slinky does that and I know Slinky's just looking for food and he he's he's very uh, sensory orientated you can see he's sticking that tongue out the Jacobson's organ on the roof of his mouth is working overtime he's always looking for something to eat he's just doing what a monitor does but it's this kind of interaction for me um, that I just love him. I love that he does that. I love that he feels comfortable with me and I trust him uh, to be close to my face and to kind of wander around and do his thing. And, and you know, we have this kind of um, appreciation and this unspoken language uh, between each other. I, I've learned, um, like for instance, when you guys go back, if you haven't seen him eat the snake, um, you may want to check it out. And you can see that even the whip he gave me, he gave me two whips. The first one was a little warning whip when I was trying to get the snake out of his mouth. And the second whip was a little bit more intense and it left a mark and I had to rub my butt. Um, it's, it's, you tell the difference between just a minor, like, hey man, back off. He'll give you a little back off whip. Um, if it were an aggressive whip, which I have not had from Slinky in a long time, um, it, it would feel much, much different. So there are little things that he does that really makes me understand uh, what kind of mood he's in. And that's what I love so much about these guys. And that's why uh, guys like Kevin McCurley at Nerd and, and uh, going to visit him and learning how he socializes his monitors uh, was such a treat because they're, it's like having a pet dragon, to be perfectly honest. And I know, you know, to the lay person who maybe is watching this video, they may not understand it. But for me, an animal like Slinky and being able to interact with him and care for him and, and work with him, having the space that I do, um, it really is rewarding because they give you so much back. And uh, to be honest, us reptile people know that even our turtles and tortoises and bearded dragons, you know, when you spend a lot of time with these animals, you start to see things that most normal people don't see. And I think that's what keeps me intrigued by reptiles is we kind of write them off as stupid or, oh, there you go, a little sneeze. Oh my God, did you have a little sneezy? I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. But um, as I was saying, it's, it's one of those things that is just, you know, amazing to see that these are not mindless animals, that they're actually very alert and very interesting. And um, they have an intelligence all unto themselves. And they're as smart as they need to be to survive millions of years and uh, to make it in a very challenging world. And a testament to that was the way that Slinky came back after that near-death experience. So that's what I wanted to say, folks. And don't worry, that was a normal sneeze. I've seen, I've seen that before. I'm gonna keep a good eye on Slinky. I've got a great veterinarian. We've got all the, the hospital between Bush Wildlife and my veterinarian at PGA Animal Clinic. Slinky is gonna be well taken care of. So if anything starts to occur here in the next few days, I will be all over it and I'll do absolutely everything I have to do to make sure Slinky lives a full, 
healthy, happy life. All right, people, that's it. That's your update. That's what we got for you on this Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, most importantly, I cannot thank you all enough for your support, for your kind words. Uh, I've seen some of your emails. Uh, you've reached out to me on Instagram. And I want you to know that I appreciate absolutely everything you all have done. I can't possibly answer everybody, but I just wanted to make this video to update you on Slinky because so many of you were worried about him. He's fine. So guys, girls, boys, girls, men, women, children, other reptiles who may be watching, Slinky uh, is gonna be doing just fine, guys. Thanks so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn your notifications on so you know when a video is coming. Uh, we've got a lot of cool things happening. I'm gonna be heading down to see what's up with Chandler at his place, and I've got some new turtles to pick up. So I will be bringing all of that stuff to you. If you love reptiles, well, you're in the right spot. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, hey, man, leave a comment saying hello to Slinky. I'll read them to him, okay? Thanks, guys. See you soon.